hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a crazy week crazy weekend as you know a 20 year old loner attempted to assassinate trump doing a campaign rally in pennsylvania former president donald trump confirmed he was shot during an assassination attempt on his life at a campaign rally in butler pennsylvania you guys when i saw that i cried because someone told me that something happened to him but i was so busy i was like okay I'll, i didn't i don't know we didn't register but when i finally had the chance to see the video and the pictures i started crying it's like oh my gosh what is going on i was freaking out i freaked out it's one thing to not like someone but to actually try to assassinate them that is wrong no one deserved that trump does not deserve that all the hate for what because you don't like the guy? Because the media tell you not to like him? A lot of you are being brainwashed, mind controlled, and you guys can't even see that. There's a reason why they don't want you to like Trump. I used to, I never cared for Trump. I didn't care. I was just neutral. I didn't care. I did not like him. I did not dislike him. I was just neutral. But when I started seeing the propaganda, the machine, the force behind the hate, they want you to hate him. I started seeing things and I'm like, wait a second. No, 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 no. This is not going to work. And because I'm a critical thinker I think for myself I was like no you guys have to think for yourself question everything don't let them think for you that's what they want they want zombies they want mindless zombies who don't think who just accept whatever that they throw at them that's what they want but we're gonna get into all of that but I wanted to do a breakdown a timeline of what happened so a great breakdown on the epic times great website great awesome independent journalism so make sure you check them out. So Donald Trump attempted assassination marked the first shooting of a U.S. president or presidential candidate since President Ronald Reagan survived an assassination attempt in 1981. So here's a timeline of what happened at the shooting that led to the death of one rally goer with two more sustaining serious injuries. So at 6.02 p.m. Eastern, Trump takes the stage. Trump takes to the stage to the tune of God Bless the USA, waving to the crowd. At 6.09 p.m., onlookers notice gunmen on roof. About two minutes before the first shot rings out, onlookers outside the rally are caught on video pointing out the shooter to the law enforcement. Look, they are pointing, one says. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof, another says. The video zooms in on the shooter. Yeah, he's right there. You see him? He's laying down. You see him? Officer, one shouts. He's on the roof, one woman says, sounding exasperated. Right here, right on the roof. So at 6, 11 and 18 seconds p.m., Trump speaks. In the final moments before the shooting, Trump talks about illegal immigration, referencing stats displayed on two jumbotrons that show it was lower during his presidency, right? Moments before the shooting, police officer approaches rooftop. Just before the shooting, a police officer with Butler Township attempts to approach the shooter by climbing onto the roof where he had positioned himself. As the officer grabs onto the roof's ledge to get on the roof, the shooter turns and aims his gun at the officer's direction. At this point, the officer lets go of the ledge, retreats, and reports the threat via radio. The shooter then opens fire on the rally below. At 6.11 and 32 seconds p.m., shots fired. Trump continues speaking about illegal immigration and begins to say, if you want to see something really sad, look what happened over. At this point, the first shot can be heard on camera. Six more shots also rang out in quick succession after the first. Just millisecond before, Trump had cocked his head slightly to the right. Now at 6, 11, 33 seconds p.m., Trump grabs ear. Immediately after the shot rings out, Trump stops speaking and quickly grabs at his right ear. 
pulling his hand away, he then quickly drops to the ground behind his podium. The entire crowd behind him reacts just as quickly, also falling into a crouch behind the stage. At the same moment, video footage appears to show a Secret Service sniper positioned on a rooftop behind the stage, taking a shot in the direction of the shooter. In the moment before taking the shot, the Secret Service sniper can be seen looking into his scope to line up a shot. Shouts began to ring out from attendees. Moments later, a Secret Service agent can be heard shouting, get down, get down. Now at 6.11 and 36 seconds p.m., Secret Service comes on stage. Trump personal escort of Secret Service agents immediately bounced on stage as soon as it became obvious that something is wrong. At this point, at least seven Secret Service agents swarmed Trump falling on top of him to cover his body from further shots. What are we doing? What are we doing? One female agent can be heard saying, where are we going? At 6, 12, 32 seconds p.m., Trump gets up. For nearly a full minute, Trump remains prone on the stage, his body covered by Secret Service agents. Two Secret Service personnel carrying semi-automatic military-grade rifles take to the stage, scanning the crowd as Secret Service agents try to determine their next move. Several agents can be heard shouting, shoot her down, shoot her down, are we good to move? A female agent asks. Shoot us down, a female, a male agent replies, we're good to move. At this point, Trump begins to slowly stand up still largely covered by agents. His shirt and hair are disheveled and a stream of blood runs down the right side of his face. As he stands up, agents continue to shield his body from view. At 6.12 and 47 seconds p.m., Trump stands up. He can be heard telling agents, let me get my shoes. Trump at this point raises his fist to the crowd. At 6.12 and 55 seconds p.m., Trump escorted out. With most of his body still shielded by agents, Trump is carefully escorted off stage, continuing to pump his fist for the crowd. He is taken by agents to an armored vehicle. At 6.14 p.m., Trump's motorcade leaves. Trump's motorcade departs the rally venue. At 6.42 p.m., Secret Service confirms incident at Trump rally. Secret Service spokesman Anthony Gugger, I don't know, writes on X that an incident has happened at the rally and that Trump is safe. At 6.51 p.m., Trump said to be at medical facility. The Trump campaign says Trump is fine and is being checked out at a local medical facility. At 7.49 p.m., Secret Service confirms shooter dead. Secret Service spokesman Anthony Gugler releases a statement saying that the suspected shooter had fired multiple shots from an elevated position outside the rally venue. Secret Service agents had neutralized the shooter who was now deceased. The statement was also says that one spectator was killed and two spectators seriously injured. Now at 8.13 p.m., Biden condemns shooting. President Joe Biden speaks on camera from Delaware saying that he had been thoroughly briefed by all the agencies and the federal government on the shooting. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick, it's sick. Biden says from the emergency briefing room at 8.42 p.m., Trump confirms ear wound. Trump confirms that a bullet pierced his right ear in a statement on his social media platform, Truth Social. He also thanks the Secret Service and, of, and all of law enforcement for their rapid response to the shooting and expresses condolences to the family of the person who was fatally shot and another he had heard had been seriously injured. Now at 9.40 p.m., Trump will attend Republican National Convention. Trump campaign and the Republican National Convention confirms in a statement that the former president is doing well 
It will appear in person at the Republican National Convention, set to kick off in two days in Milwaukee on Monday, July 15th. At 10.30 p.m., Biden speaks with Trump. The White House confirms that Biden has spoken with Donald Trump. Now at 11.45 p.m., FBI calls shooting an assassination attempt. Kevin Rodrick, special agent in charge at the FBI's Pittsburgh's field office, holds a news conference calling the shooting an assassination attempt. He also says the investigators are working to identify a motive for the attempted assassination. The FBI confirms that the two adult men are in critical condition while a third has died. At 12.37 a.m., Trump lands in New Jersey. Trump private jet lands at Newark Liberty International Airport, a video shared by his deputy director of communications, Margot Martin, shows Trump walking unassisted down the air stair of his plane. Strong and resilient, he will never stop fighting for America, Miss Martin writes on X, aka Twitter. At 1.35 a.m., FBI names gunmen. The FBI identifies 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, as the subject involved in the assassination of Trump. So that was the breakdown. That was the timeline. Now, I can see why some people think it's staged. So many things went wrong. So many things just seemed off. And you never know. With politics, I mean, listen, politics is a dirty, dirty game. And these politicians are a bunch of crooks, right? They will M word you with the quickness. They have no conscience, a lot of them. They play very dirty. The powers that be, the global elitists, oh yeah, they don't play no games. Now, here's what's off to me. Now, we all know that the president have top-notch Secret Service staff, right? Anytime that they have to go somewhere, the Secret Service people have to go, you know, check every corner of the room, the street, everything everything they have to check every building that's nearby everything so the fact that people were already pointing out the gunman even an officer saw the gunman went on top to and then the gunman point his thing at him and the officer ran off like what not only that secret service snipers were already on the roof facing the direction of the sniper that's on top of the roof. So when the gunman took his shot, the Secret Service didn't have to turn around. They were already facing the gunman. That's why they were able to take the gunman out in one second, less than two seconds. So they were already, they were already facing the gunman's direction so it makes no sense. Like, and not only, so it's just a lot of things that doesn't make any sense. And that's not all. You get shot, and I'm sure it's painful. I've never been shot, so I don't know. But I'm sure it's painful, right? And you get up, instead of letting them run you off, you stop and you like, fight, fight, fight. I don't know. Like, aren't you afraid there might be another shot? I don't know. It's just like... Like, it's, it's crazy. And don't think that these people are above staging things because they stage things all the time. They stage things all the time. False flag. And, you know, so don't think none of these people are above doing anything. Politics is a dirty, dirty game. Now, I can see why people think it's staged. Now, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's the thing because I don't put anything past these people. But... If it was stage, it had to be an inside job because for the top-notch Secret Service staff not to know what to do or where to go, it doesn't make sense. And the gunman wasn't trying to hide. He was just 20 years old. And the guy, he, so-called Republican, right? But then he was giving donations to Democrats. So you see, it's just like now. They, and you know what's crazy, what I always find crazy? Every assassination or an attempt, they always take out the gunmen. It is set up that way because if they are alive, 
they don't know what they would say. They probably say, okay, this is who put me up to it. You know what I mean? So they always take out the gunman. I do find that strange. It's always been strange to me. It's not shocking that someone tried to take Trump out. I've been saying this for years. They were gonna try to take him out and they're gonna do it before November. Tons of people said this. They were gonna take Trump out. So it's not shocking. You even have Biden saying he regrets using the term bullseye referring to Trump before the assassination attempt. Oh, and by the way, Elon Musk backs Trump. He wrote, I fully endorse President Trump and hope for his rapid recovery. And he is also giving Trump $45 million a month for Trump's you know campaign that's big oh my gosh that's big but i wanted to point out a few things about the shooter since his fellow classmates are being interviewed so now they're saying he was bullied they want the typical story you know the bully kid the loner some people said he had poor hygiene body odor he was bullied but in the video it didn't look like he was being bullied someone i think a friend was pulling at his like his jeans and then when the camera zoomed in on the shooter he was laughing he was laughing like stop like that so i don't think that was a bullied video they just want us to think it's a bullied video but it didn't look like a bullied video he didn't look bullied in the video so that i don't know and then they said he was rejected from a high school rifle club because he was a bad shot his aim was bad so uh, so you see his aim was bad but for some reason he felt the need to go on the rooftop with a sniper rifle trying to take out Donald Trump, but he has bad aim. But listen to this. People are saying he was cool, he was friendly, and got along with everybody. He got along with his classmates. He would joke around with them. He would make funny videos. There's even a video where he was joking about being endowed with 10 inches. You know, like he's, you know and he's 6'4", and he was bragging about having a 10-inch, you know what? Then there's someone else coming out saying, oh, he was an outsider, he was a loner, he didn't speak to people. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add, it's not adding up. They said when it comes to computer tech, this guy was top notch. He was one of the most talented students in class, being able to make to take computers apart and reassemble them without a hitch. So this guy was able to build computers. And what's crazy, they also said that this guy did not bring up politics or guns while in the classroom. He was absolute, the, the, the students said he was absolutely floored to find out that Thomas, the shooter, attempted to assassinate Trump. So that's not even, he's not even about guns. He's not even about politics. But for some reason, he was registered as a Republican while donating to Democrat parties. I don't know. They said he was into video games too, especially Fortnite and, you know, different video games, first shooter video games. So I don't know, guys. It just doesn't add up. It's like one minute, one person is saying he was an outsider, loner, and then other people are saying, oh, he was cool, he was friendly, making funny videos, he was so smart. He didn't talk about politics, no guns. Yeah, so who are these people they interviewing? Because they can, mm, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot going on. I don't know what to believe. It's just a lot of mix. It's just crazy. This country is dark. It is upside down. Will there be a civil war? I don't know. But they have a lot planned for us. You best believe that. So guys, get ready. Store food, candles, flashlights, water, you name it. Get ready, okay? Do not focus on these people. They cannot save you. Turn to the Savior, Jesus Christ, okay? Repent while you can and get right with the Lord because that is the only way you will be protected because they have a lot. No matter who wins, we are in trouble, okay? We are in trouble. So, yeah, do not put your trust in people's hands. Trust 
God. He will never forsake you. So please turn to God, focus on God, and get ready because tomorrow is not a promise. So focus on God and do not fear. God will take care of his people. I love you guys so much. I want everyone to be saved. So repent while you can. Choose wisely because this world is temporary. This world is so evil. It's so dark. And we have not seen anything yet. The worst is yet to come. So get ready. Let's be found faithful. Victory over sin is the goal. Do not worry. God will take care of you. Let them do what they do. Just stay focused. Focus on Jesus. Jesus is soon to come. Oh, what a day. Glorious day that will be. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.